Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. On November 23rd, India test fired the intermediate ballistic range missile Agni 3 from APG Abdul Kalam Island, Odisha. The successful test was part of the routine user training launches carried out under the aegis of Strategic Forces Command (SFC). The launch was carried out for a predetermined range and validated all operational parameters of the system. Now, talking about Agni 3, it has been developed by Advanced Systems Laboratory (ASL), a unit of DRDO, which began developing the missile in the late 1990s. It has been developed as a successor of Agni 2. The intermediate range ballistic missile was inducted into the services in 2011. The missile has a range between 3,000 to 5,000 km and capable of targeting the targets deep inside the Chinese territory. Agni-3 is a two-stage ballistic missile capable of nuclear weapons delivery. The first stage booster weighs close to 32 ton and is made using advanced carbon composite materials while the second stage booster weighs 11 ton and is made up of iron-based steel alloy. The two-stage solid fuel missile is compact enough for easy mobility and flexible deployment on several surface and subsurface platforms. The SFC presently deployed the Agni-3 on rail-based launches, though there were reports suggesting road mobile systems may be used in future. Agni-3 is equipped with sophisticated navigation, guidance and control system and advanced onboard computer system. The electronic systems are designed to withstand greater vibration, heat, and noise. The missile has been designed to support a wide range of warhead configuration. It can carry 2,490 kg of warhead to a range of 4,500 km. Agni-3 employs a strapped-down INS GPS guidance system and potentially a terminal seeker to reach an accuracy of 40 meters circular error probability. The missile is primarily employed with a nuclear warhead with an estimated 200 to 300 kiloton of yield. Though not officially confirmed, but comparing the dimension of Agni-3 missile, especially its diameter, it can be possibly deploy MIRV or anti-ballistic missile decoys. In 2013, the Director General of DRDO told in an interview that the design activity on the development and production of MIRV was at advanced stages. DRDO was designing MIRV and integrating it with Agni-4 and Agni-5 missiles. In October 2021, the Indian Strategic Forces Command conducted its first user trial of Agni-5 in full operational configuration, which was rumored to have tested with MIRV technology. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.